Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back for part three of How Lizard Lost His Tail. We finished our story, but now we are going to learn some more facts about lizards. Do you have your reading glasses on? Are you ready? Let's read together. Now, lizards stay very still, so they will not get caught. Their skin matches their surroundings. Let's review the first part. Lizards stay very still, like this. They don't move. Can you stay still? Don't move. Very good. So the lizards are not moving like this. They are still. Why, well, why do they stay still? So they will not get caught. The lizard does not want to be eaten by coyote. They stay still. What else do lizards do? Their skin matches their surroundings. The surroundings, what is around you. If you are at home, maybe your bedroom or your living room is your surroundings. If you're at school, your classroom is your surroundings. Let's look at this picture. Can you find the lizard? You have to look very closely. He is right here. There he is. But his skin matches this rock here. This is called camouflage. Some lizards can change the color of their skin. Wow! Wouldn't you like to change? And then you can hide from your parents? You can hide from your teachers? Wouldn't that be fun? Let's look at the word camouflage. C-A-M-O-U-F-L-A-G-E. Camouflage. It's a very difficult word, but it means that you can hide with your surroundings. This lizard has his skin match his surroundings so he can hide. His skin is camouflage to hide from coyotes eating him. Let's look at the next page and learn some more. Look at this picture. What happened here? Ugh. Ugh. The lizard, his tail is, ugh. Did the animal or the coyote eat his tail? No. Let's find out what happened. Lizards can drop off their tail if they are caught. Their tail always grows again. They can just take it off. Wow. Imagine if you could just take off your finger and then grow a new one. That's really interesting. So if coyote comes to catch or eat the lizard tail, the lizard just removes it. And later, the lizard tail will grow back again. Now this lizard has many spots. He does not look like the rock, but maybe he looks like many rocks. Let's look at the next picture. 
more about lizards. Lizards are reptiles, just like snakes. Snakes. What does it mean to be a reptile? Here, they lay eggs. Do humans lay eggs? No. We give birth to live animals, humans. They are also cold-blooded. This means they need to get heat or warmth from the sun. So reptiles usually live in very hot, warm, sunny places. You are warm-blooded. You are warm-blooded. They also have scaly skin. Scaly usually means it's kind of rough, not smooth like your skin or my skin. And lizards eat insects and fruit. Some lizards, like this lizard, also eat animals and birds. This is a very big lizard, maybe bigger than you. Okay. Do you eat insects and fruit? No, you don't eat insects, but fruit. Okay. And this very big lizard is a very special kind of lizard. He lives in the island of Komodo, and his name is Komodo Dragon. He's the biggest lizard of them all. Do you remember what this is? In Korean, Sunenjang. Sunenjang. What is this in English? Very good. Cactus. Cactus. Let's look at the next picture. Lizards live in many places on Earth. Many places. But not all places. They do not live in the Arctic or Antarctica. Those places are too cold for them. You are warm-blooded and it's too cold for you. So these lizards cannot live there. If they are put there, they will die very quickly. The biggest lizard is what? Do you remember? Is the Komodo dragon. It can grow to 10 feet long. That is much bigger than you. That is longer than me. Wow. And he lives in Indonesia. Do you know where Indonesia is? Not too far from Korea. If you go there, Maybe you can see a Komodo dragon. Wow. Look at his skin. It's very rough. It's scaly. If you touch it, it'd be like touching sandpaper. It's not smooth like your skin. And look at this. His tongue is split. We can say a forked tongue. Fork. It looks like a fork. And lizards, they smell with their tongue. So this lizard is smelling probably for some kind of food. You smell with what? What is this? It's your nose. But what if you walked around like this, smelling things? Be strange. But that's how lizards smell. They go to smell for food. Let's look at the next pictures. The smallest lizard is less than an inch long. It's about this big. Very, very tiny. 
Maybe you could have that lizard as a pet. Where do these tiny lizards live? In the Caribbean. This is a very nice place, a warm place near my home country of America. Very warm there, very warm. He's pretty cute. It looks like he is smelling the flowers. Now, we've learned a lot about lizards. They're pretty cool, huh? Some lizards can change the color of their skin. Wow! Do you remember what that is? Using their skin color to hide into their surroundings? It's called camouflage. Camouflage. Some lizards can drop off their tail. They can remove their tail. Why do they do that? Very good. For safety. If an animal bites their tail, they remove it and then they can run away. Do the tails grow back? Very good. They do grow back. Some lizards are very big, bigger than you, bigger than me. Do you remember the name of that lizard? Very good. The Komodo dragon. And some lizards are very tiny, only an inch big. I hope you've enjoyed reading and learning about lizards, and I'll see you in the next book. Goodbye.